Teasing my gentlemen's as you can see look at that your girl is back with another freaking video uh, Yes, it's only been two days and I posted a video two days ago and look I'm back posting another one Yeah, as your girl is back in the freaking business who and as you can see by this title We are about to get down to the whole How can you be single and be happy? listen Questions like these are asked all the time. People think, oh, you single? Yeah, and why? You don't, you know, sometimes want somebody to cuddle with or sometimes, you know, want somebody to have sex with? No. No, 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 no. What's this? No, 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 no. Just because you're single don't mean you got to be miserable. Listen, because... <laughs> Nowadays, people think relationships are everything. Relationships are not everything. I can tell you that right now, relationships are not everything. Everything that you see on the internet, everything that you see on TV, everything that you see on the streets, everything that you see anywhere, believe me, everything is not all picture perfect, boo. It is not. It is not. Like, it really ain't. Like, everybody have their problems. Everybody do stuff behind closed doors. Everybody hide stuff. Everybody has secrets. Believe me, it's not picture perfect. Mm hmm Picture perfect. Please eat ease. No. But yeah, y'all not here for all that stuff. Like, listen, let's get down to this video. Let's get down to business. Because, listen, most people, you probably, if you watching this video, listen, you need this advice. Because you're not watching this video if you don't need this advice. Because I know you do. But listen, number one, uh-uh-uh-uh, this is what you need to do. If you trying to be single and be all happy and not care about what you see on the internet and what you see on TVs or on the street, focus on yourself. Focus on yourself, boo. Just focus. Love yourself. Focus on yourself and love yourself. Like, if you have to literally sit at home and write down an agenda of what you want to do in 2020, and what's going to make you better and what's going to better your life, better your current situation, better whatever situation you're in, do it. If that's what's going to make you happy, do it. Because at the end of the day, a person is not going to make you happy. Like everybody think, oh, she got a boyfriend or oh, he has a girlfriend that significant other is making him happy, this and that, or making her happy. Okay, that's their situation. This is your situation focus on yourself boo focus on your sir self like listen just focus on all of you if you have to join a yoga class join a gym class join anything that's going to make you feel like you are accomplishing something in your life then do it because you can never really jump into a relationship without knowing yourself that's the number one thing you will want to do. Know yourself. Focus on yourself. Because by you doing this, while you're living this single life, the whole thing that everybody call it, oh, she's living the single life, this and that, blah, blah, blah. She's lonely. No, boo. I'm not lonely. Or no, he's not lonely. He is figuring it. He's figuring himself out. She's figuring herself out. She's working on herself. She's building her empire. He's building his empire. Like, just because somebody does not have someone next to them or somebody that they's not dating does not mean that person is miserable or lonely. Some people like being single. Some people feels like it betters them. Like, I just think if you want to be single, the number one thing or the number one thing that you should be working on is yourself. Or the number one thing that you should be learning how to do is know yourself. Like, no, like, take this time to, like, understand what you don't like, what you do like. Because when, while you was in that relationship, that person was obviously showing you things that you didn't like. And let me just break this down for you and let me just make this clear. Like, listen, everything happens for a reason. If you are out of that relationship, that was for a reason. Like, you're just not going to just 
okay, not being in this relationship, that person wasn't making you happy or you wasn't making that person happy, then obviously y'all split. But everything happens for a reason. You're in this predicament for a reason. Maybe the Lord wanted you to learn yourself. Maybe that person was not for you. And at the end of the day, you will find your king. You will find your queen. But give it time. Maybe it's not your time yet. Maybe it's not their time yet. But at the end of the day, you will find that person. But right now, it is not your time. Like, take this time to understand why you didn't. Why you're not in that relationship no more. Why you didn't like what that person wasn't doing. Because at the end of the day, while you're figuring yourself out now, when you do get to your next relationship or your next situation, however you want to put it, you're going to understand like, okay, well, I was in that last relationship and that person did this and I didn't like it. And this person is doing that now too and I don't like it. Then that shows you that that's something that you don't like. And if you see something like, oh... This person is doing something that I do like that that person that in my past relationship that didn't do that I wanted to do, but this person is doing it now. You just shows yourself that this is something that you do like. You get what I'm saying? When you're focusing on yourself, you, you take time and to learn yourself, all your dislikes, all your likes. And then at that, when you're single, remember, you can do what you want to do, when you want to do it, where you want to do it. You don't have to worry about anybody telling you, oh, you know, I don't like that. Or can I check your social media? Or, you know, can I borrow a few dollars? Or this and that, blah, blah. Or you don't have to worry about somebody checking or clocking you what time you coming home. Or what time you want to uh, meet up. Or you trying to do this, you trying to do that, blah, blah, blah. You don't have to worry about none of that because you are single, boo. You are single, sir. I don't know if you're a female or a male watching this. I hope it's both because this video is just not for the females. This is also for the gentlemen, too. Because nowadays, listen, females are only not the ones that are single. The men are single, too. But at the end of the day, listen, you're learning everything about yourself. You are building your empire. You are learning your dislikes and your likes. You're learning what you want to do to better your situation. You're learning what you need to do to get to that point in your life where you you're, you might not be single anymore. Like, it's so many things that, you know, you just need to appreciate. Even though you're not in a relationship, appreciate the fact that you're alive. Appreciate the fact that you also have people out there that care about you. And that's another thing that I want to get down to. If you are single surround yourself with positive people and i don't just mean friends and stuff like that i mean family you have plenty of people out there that care about you plenty of people out there that loves you plenty of people out there that will stand by you by you're going through this whole situation shit while you're going through any type of situation shit or any type of situation i'm gonna stop saying situation shit because i i just like that i just like that word but when you're going through that situation, like, it's plenty of people out here that will stand by you. And remember that. Just surround yourself with positive people and you will get to the point where you need to be. Where you're starting to love yourself more. You're starting to go places without people being by yourself. You're starting to be comfortable with the fact that you can just tell people, I don't have a man or I don't have a female. Or, okay, I'm going to the movies. Who are you going with? By myself? Listen, you're getting comfortable with that fact. You're getting comfortable with the fact that you're by yourself. You don't need people. Remember, you can be single and happy. You can be friendless and be happy. Like, listen. And at that, like, just remember to, like, also encourage yourself. Like, it's going to be plenty of times where you're stressed out and you're, you got anxiety and you got depression and all that other stuff. But you have to encourage yourself, like... If you got to listen to motivational videos, do what you got to do to get to that point where you will you won't be in bed laying down all night or all day with the windows and the shades and stuff closed and you know don't want to talk to nobody, not answering your phone calls, not answering text messages. Like listen, that is not the way to go. You need to get out there and live your life. You can't stress about the person that was before or you can't stress about the fact that you don't know who's coming after. Live your life. Encourage yourself. Motivate yourself. Like I said, if you have to join a gym membership to get to that point and do what you got to do, do what you got to do to get to that point where you're just going to be happy. Like me, like I'm not single. I'm actually technically engaged and 
my thing is with me when my fiance is not around and i feel lonely without that person i feel like i'm by myself which i'm not i'm in a relationship but i feel like i'm by myself and things that i do i have to actually listen to motivational videos to make me want to get up and do what i gotta do for the day like you can't just slouch and you can't just stay in one position and do all that other stuff but like it just you know, you just got to be, you know, who you got to be, when you got to be, and stuff like that. Some people is not going to accept the fact that you're single and you're happy, but it's not about other people. It's about you. Remember that it's always about you. It's never about the person before or the person after. It's always about you. So that's all I want to say is always focus on you. Always love yourself. Never doubt anything. Remember, everything's happen everything happens for a reason. And remember that you're in this position not because it's your fault, but because you're trying to better yourself. Like, you took the leap of faith and told yourself that, okay, I need time by myself. I'm going to be single. So, this is not something to tell you to go jump into another relationship to make yourself happy because it's not going to make you happy. You didn't give yourself time to grow. You didn't give your, yourself enough time to go through the whole process of, okay, why did this relationship end or why am i in this predicament you just have to understand the fact that everything is never going to work out the way you want to and at the end of the day you are you and you are always going to be beautiful inside and out and if that person or anybody in this world does not accept you for who you are then they can get the step in because at the end of the day you are one of a kind nobody can change you Nobody can make you do something that you don't want to and you're just going to be that person because that is you. So and that's all I wanted to say to conclude this video. This is has been a great little talk with you guys. I hope to hear from you in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at Glimmer Trace and comment below. Make sure you tell me all of the things that you want to hear from me. Like if you want to do some more, some more of these get readies with me or some more of these girl chats, you know, or some of these little chit chat, chit chats about other things, let me know below or hit me up on Instagram in my DMs. I'll definitely take consideration to what you want to hear and I'll definitely bring it to my YouTube channel. And make sure you follow me also on TikTok and, um, oh, and Twitter too. Follow me on Twitter at Door Trace and so follow me on TikTok at Glimmer Trace. I love to see you guys later. So, bye, bye, bye.